Alright guys, now it's time to stop <clears throat> and do a countdown. My top 10 favorite Saved by the Bell episodes. These are my 10 favorite ones. So let's get going. Number 10, Snow White and the Seven Dorks. This episode... In this episode, they decide to put on a play of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. But this time, there's a switch to it. One, it's called Snow White and the Seven Dorks. Two, they're going to be rapping. They're, uh... Respective, uh, lines. Uh, I was torn between this one and squishy spaghetti sauce, but I picked this one. Um, the episode, I know it sounds weird for me to put on a top 10 list, but the reason I put it on here is not the play itself, but the story of the episode is centered on is that, um, uh, at the time, uh, Jesse and Slater are dating. And somehow, so are Zach and Kelly, even though this is after their breakup, I, I don't know. But, uh, uh, so, but Zach is the prince, Prince Charming, whatever, and, uh, Jesse is the is Snow White, while Slater wants nothing to do with the project, and um, Kelly is made the evil queen. However, after getting jealous, Slater decides he wants to be a part of it, and ends up becoming the eighth dork. Um, and during this, there is a scene in which. You know, the, the kiss at the end where Prince Charming has to kiss Snow White. This causes problems when Zack and Jesse realize they may have feelings for each other. It is solved, but I, I like the story. There's another episode that they do the sort of the same thing where two friends might have feelings for each other. And that was Zack and Lisa. And I thought about putting that in here, but um, the only thing with that is was that they hinted that it would continue. Here they, they, they show that they clearly don't have feelings for each other and they're just they just blew it you know, blew it out of proportion. Here in, in the in the other one, they clearly show that it was gonna continue, but we never got a continuation of the relationship between Zach and Lisa. So that's why I put this one here. Number nine, the best summer of my life. Now, some of the best episodes of the show are the uh set of episodes where they're at and Malibu Sands working for the summer. <clears throat> There's a lot of good stuff in those episodes. And I couldn't pick just one. So I picked the episode that is a compilation of all the things that happens. I'm not going to be taking too much time on this one. It's just a compilation of everything they did during the summer. And uh, Zach fell in love with uh, Le uh, uh, Leia Remini's character, which is Stacy. And she's actually the daughter of the their boss and everything and all the hijinks. It's it's a very fun episode. Go watch it. Number eight, the Zack Tates. It's a Valentine's Day episode, one of the earlier episodes of the show. Uh Zack of course wants to go with Kelly to the Valentine's Day dance, but so does Slater. So what does Zack do about well they learn well it's one of those things where Zack has a problem where someone has a problem and they learn about something in class, and they use that to solve their problem. So, Miss Wentworth teaches about subliminal advertising. And so they use that subliminal message in a Beau Revere tape. I never heard of Beau Revere. It's probably someone made for the show. I don't know. That is specially made for Kelly and one made for Lisa for Screech so that they can each take them out. However... This is complicated when Kelly lends her tape to Jesse. And Jesse then also wants to take Zach out. 
So they figure out what's going on. They go to Mrs. Wentworth. They go to Mr. Belding. And they set this up. And they set up where they're going to play the Bow Revere tape over the school intercoms. And they say it's Kelly's. So everyone acts like they want Zach to go out with him. Even Slater. I love that. Cause they're like, they're like, he's like, Slater, help me. say, hey. He's going, he's with me. And he puts his, you know, little thing over it. It's, it's, <clears throat> it's funny. Because it, it, they have this thing where they put the hearts, the ladies put the hearts over them. The guys that want to date. So it's, it's kind of funny. Number seven, a Thanksgiving story. This is, I, I was looking through the college years episodes. There's really not a lot of, Ones that can be put on a top ten list. But, this one is a memorable one. It's a th Thanksgiving episode. Everyone has Thanksgiving plans that want to go to, you know, respect the Thanksgivings. But, due to weather or other stuff, they are forced to have Thanksgiving together. And help Mr. Help Mike do this dinner for kids or whatever. And, and Screech, I think, is part of it too. Uh... And we end up getting cameos from Jonathan Brandis, may he rest in peace, Six from Blossom, and even Mr. Belding shows up with mashed potatoes. Although he, I guess, has Six signed the mashed potatoes? I, I don't know. But it's a fun little episode, good cameos. Uh, you know, it's, it, it's a decent episode. Number six, Cut Day. Now this one is one of my... my you know, one of the ones I remember the most. It's senior cut day at school, but Zach's not allowed to cut because he's missed so many days in school, he has to stay behind. Jesse also stays behind so she can protest styrofoam cups. And there's another one, Graham, whatever his name is, is... Uh, I think it's Andrew Keegan. I think. Maybe not, I don't know. But, uh, but Zach makes a bet with Slater that he could be to every location they are throughout the day instead of, um, you know, he can get out of every class he's supposed to be in to be where they are. And he does it almost until the last episode, until the last class where, um, Mr. Belding takes over and says that Zach's going to stay there the whole time until Screech comes to the rescue with these, um, their, uh, candy insects. Chocolate covered, chocolate covered grasshoppers, caramel, caterpillars, stuff like that. And Zach's able to get out. You know, it's a fun little episode. Shows that Zach's, you know, got that little thing. It's one of the later episodes, too, but yeah. Number five, No Hope with Dope. This one is one I remember the most when thinking about the episode because uh, this guy named Johnny he comes he he comes to Bayside he wants to do this anti drug campaign with the school and the students of Bayside but as it turns out uh, the guys they find uh, a roach or a you know a a joint in the uh, in the in the men's bath in the boys bathroom and so they're trying to figure out. Who it belongs to. Uh, and it turns out it was Johnny's. Because it turns out Johnny. While. Trying to promote. You know. Not to do drugs. Actually does drugs. And then they have Dick Ebersol come on there. And they do the commercial with him. So. It's a fun little anti-drug episode. And it's. It's what I remember the most. Number four. A Home for Christmas. This is a two-parter. Another one I remember, because they played it a lot. Um, the guys, they're working at a mall over Christmas break. And um, Jesse meets Melissa. No, not Melissa. I, for, I forget her name. But me, meets a girl who he wants to go out with. She works with Kelly and Jesse at the store, I think. And uh, meanwhile, Zach and... Screech meet a homeless man. It turns out to be this girl's father. Um, that ends part one when they find out the truth. And in the next episode, they're trying to help. They, they end up helping out the homeless people. And there's a there's a whole discrimination message in this too, where 
after the boss at the department store where the girls work finds out she's homeless, he says, if I knew she was homeless, I wouldn't have hired her. Those that have nothing would steal or something like that. It's like, and then so, uh, Lisa or whatever her name, not, not Lisa, the, the girl, she wants to buy this, uh, sports jacket for her, her father, but the guy won't let her buy it for some reason. I don't, I don't know. Um, or have a raise to get it or something. I don't know. So Kelly decides to put it aside and she's going to buy it for her. Well, because Kelly had it put aside, he automatically assumes homeless girl stole it and that causes a whole bunch of problems. But in the end, it's all solved. And the guys, they, they're putting on this, uh, the uh, Christmas Carol. And they add the department store ads into it. It's kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, I always remember this one a lot. Number three, Jesse's song. This is the one. This is the one. If you mention Saint Bonabelle, people are gonna talk about this episode. Um, upon having Screech sneak into the girls' locker room to record the girls singing, uh, he gives it over to a record producer who thinks they can make it big. But this puts more stress on Jesse, who has a lot of finals or tests to take. And she starts dipping into caffeine pills. A little trivia. It was actually supposed to be methamphetamines. But NBC nixed that. And said we don't want any. I mean it's not real amphetamines. But it's just like they don't want any of that. Although they do a weed episode later. But we didn't want any of that in there. Um, although weed's not the most. You know. The worst drug you can take. But um, so with caffeine pills. And she gets hooked up on caffeine pills. And she's not able to do this thing. And it leads to the famous scene where uh, Zach goes to get her for their uh, audition or something. A dance or something. And they have that whole, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so scared. The whole thing. And yeah, so they end up having Screech do the performance with them, which is funny. You know. But yeah, it's a memorable episode. Uh, but there's two more I think are better than that. My favorite ones. So, number two, Running Zack. And this one, the guy, the the uh, they're doing a school project. Mrs. Wentworth is back again. They're doing a, a school project where they have to find their uh, their ancestry. You know, nowadays you get to look on the internet and do that now. But here we get to find out what your ancestors did, what they were. Um, Lisa's ancestors run were part of the underground railroad while jesse jesse ancestors were uh well they had slaves uh and zach finds out that he has native american background um his screech is italian of course uh but uh the first time he zach tries to do their presentation he messes up so miss wentworth sends him to a friend of hers uh, Chief Henry, and Chief Henry helps out Zach find out, you know, more about the tribe and everything, and he redoes his, his report, he gets an A, and then he call, he goes to call Chief Henry, and he finds out Chief Henry has passed away, and, uh, so this whole thing was he had to pass so he could do the, uh, he could, uh, be in track, which is why running Zach, that's his, his Indian name, the Native American name, I'm sorry. His Native American name, Running Zach. And he decided, after Chief Henry's death, he said he can't, he can't do it. But then Chief Henry comes to him in a dream, as a dead person ghost thing, and tells him to do it. He's got to do it. And then he's getting fit for wings, so he's an angel, but he's Native American? I don't, I don't know. And so, yeah, Zach wins. I don't know if they asked if he wins, but I know that they, he does eventually do the track thing. It's always one of the episodes I like to watch once in a while. It's, it's pretty good. And number one is an episode I I always think about. Mystery Weekend. And this this one has Tom Knickerbocker. I believe that's who it is. Um, he was in the, the Ken and Cal movie. And he was in the uh, Square One television. This has the gang going to this uh, mansion for a Mystery Weekend. It's kind of like Clue. They had to figure out. Who the, the killer is. It's, it's a pretty good mystery thing. That also ends up including Lisa. And it also has twists and turns. And I don't want to spoil it. Because this one. But it is, it's a decent episode. It, it's kind of corny. 
nowadays, but it's 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 my favorite episode of the show when I think about it. I always think, hey, I remember that episode where they go to the mystery thing and all that. It's a pretty good episode. I don't want to ruin it, but that's my number one. So what are your thoughts on my list? Let me know in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. What should I do next? Hmm. I don't know. Fina! I fi fa 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 fina!